How much is a dash of gin? Do I just do a quick pour? I'm a bit heavy handed, that's the problem. <laughs> well, hello there, and welcome back to another episode of Cocktails with Kira. My name is Kira, and I'm a whiskey loving Irish gal who's on a cocktail voyage of discovery. If you are new here, I have zero professional bar experience other than a passion for making mixed drinks at home and showing you how I do it. So hit that subscribe button, stick around, and we both just might learn something because if I can do it, you can do it. So in today's video, I'm going to be making a classic absinthe cocktail and one that I have never tried before. I'm going to be making a necromancer. So absinthe is a spirit that I've looked at a few times on the channel before. You may have seen my dedicated absinthe video in which I went into the very interesting history of this spirit and all of the controversy and mystery surrounding it. So I will link that below if you haven't checked it out. And also it is very much worth noting that some of my all time favorite cocktails have absinthe in them. Things like the Sazerac, which is my number one favorite cocktail, features an absinthe rinse or even a little bit of absinthe if you want to leave it in. So it only makes sense that I start to look at all of the other amazing absinthe cocktails out there. So before we get into the history of the Necromancer cocktail and I show you how I make it at home for the first time, I would like to take a second to tell you about my newly launched merch store. I am so excited that I finally have an official merch website. You can see some lovely designs which I will pop in here and so far you seem to be really really enjoying it. So I will leave the link below if you haven't checked it out. There is also an exclusive discount code that I am running for the launch of the store and I will also leave that below as well. Now without rambling on too much, let's get into the history of a necromancer. So although the Necromancer is somewhat of a modern cocktail, it's only been around for the past few decades. It's worth noting that it is a play on a much older absinthe based cocktail called the Corpse Reviver, which has its roots way back in the late 1800s. So the Necromancer cocktail was created by the talented Mayor Sabaro for the Loro restaurant in New York's West Village. And Mayor created this cocktail to essentially celebrate the characteristics of absinthe, such as the fennel and the anise and those gorgeous flavors that they have. And although the Necromancer cocktail is not a classic cocktail, it's not one of the most well-known ones out there, it still has its own following, particularly among absinthe lovers, so I thought I had to give it a try today. So let's look at the ingredients for a Necromancer cocktail. So to kick things off for our Necromancer cocktail, we are of course going to be using some absinthe. I have a beautiful bottle of Le Fee absinthe here, or Le Fay. This is a French absinthe. It's absolutely gorgeous. I featured this in my dedicated absinthe video. It's really, really nice if you haven't tried it. And then we are also going to be using some elderflower liqueur. I love this bottle of Saint Germain elderflower liqueur. I haven't gotten to use this enough, so I'm excited to use it in this drink. And then we are also going to be using some white vermouth. It says in most of the recipes that Le Blanc is great, but I have some Regal Rogue Lively White Vermouth here that I have been dying to try, so I think this is going to work well. And then we're also going to be using some gin in this cocktail. I actually have a bottle of the Hendrix Lunar Gin. I think this is a limited edition. Um, I have not tried this before, and I figured that because of the kind of lunar influences in this gin that it would work well for the necromancer cocktail it kind of gives it a little spooky vibe so we're going to go for this today and then we are also going to be using some fresh lemon juice in this drink so we have our white vermouth our elderflower liqueur our absinthe and our gin so let's get into the method and we can actually make this cocktail so i'm just going to go ahead and pop some ice in the shaker and then we can just start adding our ingredients we'll start with the absinthe it is 22 mils Oh, I just love the smell of absinthe so much. There is nothing quite like it. That licorice aniseed smell, it's absolutely fab. So we're gonna go in with 22 mils of our absinthe into our shaker. And then we are also gonna be doing 22 mils of our elderflower liqueur. Oh, this smells so floral and sweet. We'll do 22 mils into our shaker. Then we are gonna do 22 mils of our white vermouth. Love that sound. In she goes. All right, so we're gonna do 22 mils of fresh lemon juice into our shaker. And then we are just doing a dash of gin. 
How much is a dash of gin? I know what a dash of Angostura looks like or a dash of other bitters. Do I just do a quick pour? I'm a bit heavy handed, that's the problem. Is that a dash? I'm very, very curious about this cocktail. Hope it all works well together. It's kind of an aggressive amount of ingredients, but let's give it a shake and then we'll see. All right, that should be enough of a shake. <laughs> oh, that smells interesting. Wow, I'm just smelling everything in this video, but I love smelling things, especially when absinthe is involved. But I have to say, Combining all the ingredients, it smells interesting. We're gonna strain it into a coupe glass. I have my strainer here. And then I believe that is it. I think we can do a bit of a garnish, but very, very simple, quick cocktail. So let's go ahead and strain it in. Gorgeous color, as I expected. Cloudy, kind of yellow color. I'm a bit nervous about this. All right, so quickly, we are just gonna do a lemon twist garnish. I really should have prepped my lemon twist before I started the cocktail. If I'm skilled at my garnish, which at this point I feel like you know I'm not, I'm gonna try and rest it over the edge of the drink. Ooh, that looks beautiful. I'm actually very impressed at my garnishing skills. I managed to rest my lemon twist over the rim of the glass, which I'm very impressed with. So I have to say, I'm a little bit nervous about this drink. It has a lot of varying ingredients. Um, the smell from the shaker was something interesting. So if you will join me over in my cocktail drinking chair, let's try a necromancer cocktail and see how she tastes. Okay, so we are back in the cocktail drinking chair. I have my necromancer right here. It is still lovely and chilled. You can admire my lovely little lemon twist. Despite being rushed, I think I did an okay job with it. So as I said, I'm a little bit nervous about what this is going to taste like. There's a lot of strong ingredients there and always in terms of ingredients, absinthe is one that you're always a little bit nervous of including. You don't want it to overpower the drink. It's such a strong flavor. So I feel like this is hopefully going to celebrate it and it's all gonna work well together. But there's only one way to find out, so cheers. Oh, wow, that's absolutely delicious. It's so smooth. I really wasn't expecting that. I really wasn't expecting that. Okay, let me try it again, let me try it again. I was fully expecting this to be really lemony and somewhat acidic. And I don't like when cocktails are too acidic-y or there's too much fresh lemon or lime juice that isn't balanced with other ingredients, if that makes sense. There's been some other cocktails that I haven't enjoyed that much that I feel like the balance was off, but this is very, very well balanced. It tastes smooth and obviously tastes like absinthe in a very nice muted, smooth way if that makes any sense. It's the kind of drink I would imagine myself having after a really big meal if I wanted something that was light and refreshing and would kind of wake me up a little bit, but would also cleanse the palate or, I don't know, I always find like certain absinthe cocktails have this nod of being a digestive aid to them. I'm not sure if that's in any way true. I do know that things like fennel tea can be drank as a digestive aid and to like settle a stomach. And I kind of get that nod when I drink a cocktail like this like it's not a drink that I would have several of on a night out because I feel like it might be a bit much but having a single one of these if it was really really well made after a big meal I think it would be gorgeous I have to say I'm enjoying this a lot more than I expected to I didn't expect that I wasn't going to like it outright but I just thought that the flavors might not be to my taste but actually I really like this. So it is now that stage in the video where I get to sit back, enjoy my cocktail and answer some questions from my Patreon community. So I have a question here from Len Cobus and Len asks, have you thought about getting a larger place to make room for all the bottles you've been acquiring? Well, Len, I would absolutely love to get a larger place. I'm currently in an apartment um, in Dublin and yeah, that'd be great. I would love a dedicated, you know, cocktail room. I actually have this vision and I'll share it with you. I have a vision of having like a dedicated shed out the back of my house that is my cocktail shed and I want it to be a place where I film my cocktail videos but also where I host my guests and it can be a place of revelry and debauchery and fun and lots of gorgeous cocktails so that is a vision that I have for the channel but also just for my life um, so hopefully we will get there at some point but for now I am making them in my kitchen which 
you know what, is perfect for now. Honestly, absinthe cocktails, if you are dubious about using this ingredient, you really just need to dive in. It is so much smoother and milder and easier to work with than you might think. I think it is my personal mission on this channel to make all of the popular absinthe cocktails because so far, they're all so nice. So if you are a fan of a necromancer, I would love to know how do you make yours? Do you use any different ingredients to me? Is there any way that I can improve on this drink? To be honest, I would be doubtful because already I'm so enjoying it, but I would love to know how you make yours. And as always, if there are any other cocktails you would like to see me make, please do let me know in the comments below. I love making them based on your requests. If you liked this video, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to see more easy cocktails that you can make at home, I will leave a link to a playlist up here. And if you have not already, then be sure and subscribe to my channel. I post new videos every single week and I would love to have you back for more. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on my next one. Cheers.